Hey guys, so in the latest version of Hit Film Express, now you can add grid layer inside the editor timeline, which is a pretty neat feature. So if you go to the link in the description, you can check out all the updates that are available in the latest version. So here's the first one, new grid clips can be added onto the editor timeline. Just like there is adjustment clip or adjustment layer for DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. Now we have the same feature inside of Film Express. There are other features, you can go through this and there are some performance improvements on M1 Max. And yeah, just go through this, read all the updates and the bug fixes. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can add a great clip. So let's create a new project. And I'm just going to drag in a video or just go for this picture over here i'm going to drag in two pictures of course you can do this for the video as well so i'm going to drag it onto a video track over here and let's just zoom into this let's add in our second clip let's say this is our second video and now i can add a new track we have new video track too and now you simply have to click on this little icon that says new clip click on that and click on grade there is also a shortcut key for this so i'm going to click on that right so once you create it and you can you know match the length of this grade layer with your video footage and you can apply any effect on this such as i can apply hue saturation and lightness and i can go to the master and adjust some settings such as i can reduce the saturation and change the hue or something like that and uh, now you can see that all the changes have been updated onto your footage and you don't have to you know copy and paste over the effects you can apply it straight away on the grid layer so you can turn off the video track too you can turn off its visibility this is before and now this is after so i think that is a pretty powerful feature uh, you can you know use it to create all sorts of effects such as you can you know, create your own presets and you can um, you know apply those presets in onto the grid layer maybe such as a transition zoom transition or something like that so i've been i'm thinking of creating a transition pack and you know you can simply apply it onto a grid layer um so yeah we'll see how that goes but yeah anyways uh that's it for this video i hope this was helpful um yeah just go ahead and download the latest update and have fun